<sighs> welcome, 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 everybody. Sorry about the slight delay if you're watching this live now. We are giving away an original painting. Yes, it's that time of the week again. Don't go anywhere, folks, because this is as exciting as it gets. And talking of exciting, would you like to what see the, the reaction of the person who won, of Jeremy? He's here, he's watching the video. Would you like to see his unboxing? I think we could. Let's run the VT, mate. What is this? <gasps> yes, could it be? Wow, the packing on this is amazing. Nice. North Shore Sunset. Awesome. And there it is. Holy cow. Look at that. Wow. Dang. Amazing. Amazing, amazing. <laughs> Oh, for Jeremy, nice. Love it. Love it. Perfect. Ed and 80, thank you so much. Uh, it's amazing. I can't be happier. It's perfect. Love it. Mmm. Still has that fresh from the Suarez smell. And there it is. Hung. Looking awesome. Or even better, right here um, as uh, the entrance to my house. So, yeah. Or maybe right here. So, uh, I think it looks good anywhere in the house. Uh, thanks again to Ed and 80 for this amazing gift. All right. Thanks again, guys, and everybody else. Good luck. Well, how awesome was that, folks? Yes, our first winner from a couple of weeks back of a two months live stream, Jeremy. That is his video of his unboxing and hanging and his grateful thanks uh, all the way from Utah in the United States of America. Now, our second winner, Danielle, uh, we will hopefully uh, have hers delivered within the next few days. That's already on the water. It's already been picked up today, so that's fantastic. And we are picking a third winner. That's right. Winner number three will be picked in this video. So keep watching, folks. <gasps> I can barely draw breath. Right, before we get painting, let's run the intro. Boom, we're back in the room and the music's on. A big, big thank you to Jeremy for doing that video for us. I'm sure everybody has really enjoyed seeing where our first giveaway has gone and now that it's found its forever home. Awesome. Right, a big welcome to this video and to tonight's live stream. <coughs> I'm still recovering from the man flu. <coughs> Excuse me. So if I cough, I do apologise. You can skip back past this if you're watching on catch up <laughs> right folks uh we are going to be doing the draw for painting number three it's all set up outside we're going to go and have a look at that very shortly we have a brand new camera over there just got to mention it we're having a few teething troubles but we're hopefully going to bring you a lot uh higher definition and more colorful and intricate close-ups when we move around with Rome cam where hopefully it's an upgrade although it hasn't really been behaving itself in the last 20 uh, minutes or so which is why we were a little late coming on air massive apologies about that we are we're going to be doing some oh age is just coming on to say something hi uh yes the camera itself seems to be causing a bit of a delay i'm going to try now i'm going to go on to roam cam right now 
Uh, I think it was Lynn last week who said that the video, look, no, we're getting pixelation. Uh, the video last week, oh, terrible pixelation. So I'll try and concentrate. The video last week had a delay in it and somewhere along the lines, we think it was one of the cameras that caused the delay because it was actually on the recording. So we look back at the recording as well as when I went out live and we were trying to not let that happen tonight. Unfortunately, this camera seems to want to play up and we're not sure why. Oh yes, I can see it now on the big screen. It is pixelating. So we, we, we will figure that out, guys. Apologies about that. If that does happen throughout the video, you'll just have to bear with us. We're always trying to increase uh, your viewing pleasure and how it looks like on a screen. Um, anyway, I might have to resort back to the GoPro for now. Anyway, let's choose another camera, buddy, and then we'll start. Uh, <laughs> right, as ever, excuse me, we're going to do lots of shout outs. <laughs> excuse me. I can see there's tons of you on the chat. Uh, thank you very much for being here. Uh, remember, on the previous vid, you can still go and leave a comment on the previous video. If you haven't already done it, you can flick backwards and forwards on uh, on your app or on your screen if you want to. But we are, in about 30 minutes, going to be doing a live draw. Right, folks, excluding the Rome cam for a moment, let me talk and walk you through what's going to happen on the floor because I promise you, you probably will not have seen anything like this anywhere because yet again we're raising the bar we are going for it i have absolutely no idea what is about to happen but i can tell you i've got an array of colors i've got an array of canvases and over there maybe if you go the ptz buddy um we can have a look over to your right hand side and see about these two tubes over here. And this is going to be very, very key, guys, because on these tubes is clear cellophane. I wonder actually in the chat or maybe in the comments, you can uh, tell me what you think I'm going to be doing with that. Now, this stuff is very key to what's going to happen on the canvases, but it may not be in the way that you originally think. So that's going to come into play. These are going to be used in a little while, but for now, I am going to get some paint on canvas number one. Shall we do it, mate? Do it! Just do it! Yesterday, you said tomorrow. So just do it! Make your dreams come true! Nothing is impossible! No, what are you waiting for? Do it! Just do it! Yes, you can! Okay, right. We are going to do it then, folks. <clears throat> So, uh, let me just think about this. Yeah, okay. Right, I'm going to have to get on hands and knees, I think, a little bit here. Because I've had some thought. I've had some thoughts, right? So here I go. Hands and knees time. None of this is rehearsed. None of this is... <laughs> I just haven't. <clears throat> but I just see, see something in my head. Um, Aidy and I were chatting about this, and now I've had a thought about something else as well. So, I'm going to put some... Anyway, how are you all doing? That's the important thing. How are you all doing? So we're saying blots. That's interesting. Yes, in the comments. Nice to hear what you all think. Colin, interesting. Will I be rolling the cellophane? I think that's the general consensus of opinion. Am I going to be rolling the cellophane over the paint? Hmm, possibly. The trick, the trick to this, folks, is what do you think I'm going to do with canvas number three? Let's assume, just for a moment, that you are correct. And I am going to roll it across some canvas. What do you think, then, is going to happen to canvas three? I'm curious to know. No, I can hear that uh, Jeremy has alluded to what may happen. Well, that's interesting. I'm, I, it could be, or I might just decide to do something else. Uh, but yeah, we're going to... Um, <laughs> it's not going to be a secret. We are going to be putting the clear cellophane over the top of the paintings. However, what's cool about that is that where we've done canvas before, I put canvas on the top and blotted and rolled it and done all kinds of things, you can't really see what you've got until you take the canvas off or take the roller off. This time, you will be able to see it. 
and that's going to be a really hopefully a really really interesting thing because as i put the cellophane on you're actually physically going to see what's happening to the canvas and it'll be very interesting to see what out of these maintains its integrity it won't take long to put these on <clears throat> but then i had a thought about how to layer my color so this as if the technique isn't going to be dodgy enough uh i've got to try and figure out <laughs> what or try and second guess what it's going to look like when it's done so color distribution with all these lovely little dots and everything is going to be quite key i think because i'm trying to figure out when they're squished what's going to happen to them uh, thank you for joining us on chat if you are watching this live very very much appreciated uh, we hope to bring you something unusual for us starting to move upwards now let's try and figure out where my distribution is going to be i'm trying to do this and chat to you at the same time always very difficult to know how much paint to put on and where i want to try and mix it up a little bit as well not have the same volumes everywhere and i'll take hopefully what i'm learning on the fly onto canvas two and we'll see what happens with that i have a broad rough kind of idea about color patterns and bands definitely won't be like anything else we've done before but i wanted to have an opportunity of just doing something a little bit different we're going with a copper Copper's going, oh, can you see how thick and gloopy that is? Oh, my goodness me. What? I don't even know if that's actually going to do anything. Oh, that is literally liquid treacle. If we can get one under the... Sort of one under wraps, I'll be very, very happy because I don't actually know if this is going to work or how it's going to squish. I suppose the nice thing about squishing it very shortly is i'm kind of going to know as i put the cellophane on what is actually happening which might means i stand a chance of adjusting it so if i need to push it in one place or it's not covered in certain area and i need to cover it you know then i might actually have the opportunity of doing it this is i'll tell you something interesting that's, that's happening while i'm actually doing this <laughs> the pull of the extractor is actually pulling the paint this low to the ground and it's only a hot oh see it go that's, <laughs> that's mad right okay who would like some purple Let, let's ask Aidy. would you like some purple mate purple of course right let's oh yes let's go in for some purple we're gonna have a good strong band of this right through the middle now, i'm gonna think of what i'm gonna add to this apart from more purple obviously uh, a warm welcome if this is your first live stream <clears throat> as i've said before if you're just joining this or halfway through the video if you're watching it on catch up we are drawing from the comments from last week's video another winner for a suarez original don't worry if you're unsure what to do i'll remind you of that later uh, when this video ends just leave a comment on this video and if you're not successful tonight then you certainly get an opportunity to win on the next one. Okay, cool. Let's get in with some good colours. Right, let's uh, let's just whiz me onto corner cam for a second, buddy. That's looking really nice on the telly, actually. All right, so what about these two? Uh, Low Paul says white and turquoise. Don't worry, we're saving that for the other one. <laughs> I will get to your comments, I promise, because I want to uh, say hello to everybody if I can. Yeah, those are really nice. It's a very bright yellow. Who's a yellow canary or yellow fan here? And lots of lime fans um we'll get that on uh, when we've got all the colors on then i'll do some some shout outs right am i which way am i going to go around can i get from there let's go this way i'm going to do some, this band through the center and see what happens okay the lime and the purple will be good together uh, so i'm pretty pleased with that uh, and then we'll go for a melon as well next to it so we're going to have a unusual band going through the center so let's try that the hope is if i can kind of intersect some of these they're going to mix with each other but i might get a chance of figuring that out uh when i get the cellophane on so i really have no idea how this is going to pan out but i guess we're going to see some nice drop of line i love um I love lime and purple together. It's such a good, good combo.
Remember to hit that like button and big thumbs up if you are enjoying this so far. We've come through a lot of technical problems this week, uh, to name but a few, to try and get you the stream together. He's doing upgrades, figuring things out, making small changes to try and make what you're looking at the best we can possibly get it. But inevitably, when you're pushing back the boundaries and using equipment that's not supposed to work together, things can become problematic. So apologies for the delay coming online, but we hope we will have something rather pleasant for you uh, in just a few moments' time. Right, I'm just going to stick a small band of white uh, just down the centre, and then we're going to darken it back up again, OK? It's not going to be a huge amount. I'm going to offset that with another colour in a moment. I'm trying to fill up the gaps. I'm trying to get ahead a little bit. It might be that on Rome Cam, when I use it, I might not have to do much talking or not do it where you can see my face. Yeah, let's see what Rome Cam's doing. If I dance in front of it, delayed. Okay. <laughs> Rome cam is definitely not a happy cam. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> oh, pardon me. Right, okay. I am going to uh, pop in over here. We're going to intercept this with a little dob of green. Let's see what that looks like. Quite liquid, this one, so I'm not going to go too mad. I guess the first cellophane will kind of give me an indication as to whether I've got my volumes spot on see what i did there <laughs> spot <clears throat> just me whether i've got them correct or whether they're completely misjudged i'm hopeful though we might be all right so uh lovely yellow this I haven't had it for a while we're going in with the melon lovely that and i might pull out uh like a quite strong red to go with that Ah, uh, I see, yeah. Swarage Blue, will put, I think, will be for the next one. Uh, Denise? Yes, yeah, Sharif, definitely Smarties. Other chocolate-based snack foods are available. Uh, oh, Jackie asking, where are we going with this? Well, who knows, Jackie? Because I don't even know at the moment. Uh, but we're definitely going somewhere, I can pr promise you that. No, uh, I haven't got my, yeah, that's what I wanted, my magenta. Right, and then we're going to feature a few of the other colours to finish. So I'm just going to pop a little magenta in here. Oh, thank you, Henry. I mean, my melons meet with Henry's approval. Well, can't, can't ask for more than that, can I? Hopefully, I'm going to get some bands of colour through here. That would be, that's the aim. Let's get these back around this side. We're almost ready. Looks really nice, actually. Now, hopefully, these camera angles are looking good, even though we're not utilising Rome cam that much at the moment. I'll try and rectify that. Let's get, we're going back purple next to magenta. I like it with my lines. I had this idea that lines could be pretty cool. Well, kind of placement in in kind of defined areas, so to speak. Bands, lines, call them what you want. <coughs> Excuse me. And we'll bring the orange back in. These are nice, actually, because we've got a couple of complementary tones next to each other. We've got the uh, melon yellow and the orange. There's a crowd pleaser. So it fell on the canvas there. Thank you very much. It's a staple. How on earth did that come from? Goodbye. Uh, and then we've also got the um, magenta and that nice purple as well. So we're bringing two complementary sets together. You know, often when I'm just blabbing on and I'm just trying to ad lib, there are actually uh, <coughs> thought processes, consciously or not, going on all the time. Uh, 
I guess the trick after so many live streams is to try and get them into a verbal format where I can actually try and relay that to you if you're interested. Uh, yes, Lynn, copper's come in, hence why I've got the why I've got it here. So let's see if this turns out like a, a field of summer flowers, shall we? Like a wild meadow. Got a feeling it could. It'd be interesting, wouldn't it, just to douse this with thinners and see what would happen. <laughs> so, so many things you can do with just a few dots, isn't there? But uh, tonight, we are very much invested in blotting them. And I think that's going to be extremely interesting to find out in not too far a time period what that's going to look like. So big, big blobs going on here. Ooh, nice. I had to fight to get this out of the tin today. It really didn't want to come out. There are some pretty thick lumps in it, so I'm just trying to avoid the... Ah, and there it goes, big thick lump moment as he... Right on cue, a big thick lump comes out. There you go. Yeah. Goodbye. Cheerio. Okay. All right. Uh, hello, Paul. Well, yeah, you'll, you'll find out in just a moment anyway. I'm, I'm going to lay the, uh, the cellophane on and uh, <laughs> just see what I start pressing it and see what happens. All right, folks, we have actually got ourselves uh, some paint on canvas, which is good. Quite an easy technique so far. We've got lots of nice different colours on. I'm going to block that in just a second. Uh, <clears throat> so let's go and have a look at the call. Oh, just a, there's a quick one there from Funny Fox. How many paintings? Am I giving away? Is it five or six? <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> uh, it is actually six. Okay, so we've still got we've got three. This is draw number three. There'll still be three after this. So yes, six opportunities to win. Uh, <coughs> right, let's do some shout outs because it's the bit I really enjoy. Can only go so far back on here. I'm sorry because I had to restart my browser. Uh, Denise, C.E., Colin, Sandy, the Rita, Dan, uh, Denise, Tomiko, Robert. Hello, Robert. Uh, Henry is here. Annie Ooms as well. Hi, all. Um, Dan Wood. Hello, Dan from America. Zane says Kiora. Lynn is here. Leah. Hello, Leah. Uh, <clears throat> last week's winner, Danielle, is here. Uh, which is fantastic. Uh, John B. Martinez from New York. Good to see you. Carl Miles is on taxi duty. Uh, Funny Fox is also here as well as Board Fruit Donkey. Hello, Paula. Uh, we have got also uh, Callie's Paint Stuff. Hello to you. Said hello to hello, uh, hello Paul. State Wench. And we've got Devanda Studios. And of course, Jeremy, our first winner. You saw that on the video. Uh, good day to you as well. Did you say hello to Colin? You've got two mentions now. Nana Maya, thank you for watching. Greetings to you too. Uh, Lynn Ford, a big, big up to you. Lynn Hunter Young is giving us a wave. Also, Amani, hello, hello. Uh, Rob D, good day to you. And we've got Kim Leaf. Uh, said Jeremy chose very well. Sharif, good day to you. Hola from Nelson in Sao Paulo. And who else have we got? Her journey with Nicole. Hopes it's her. She's going to win. Michael Squire, good day to you. And we've also got Cameron. Hello, Cameron. Good to see you here also. All right. Have I got to the bottom yet? Not quite. Uh, but I think I may. If I haven't said hello already, my apologies. I will get to you. But I couldn't get right to the very top. Uh, so there we go. There we go. Uh, Henry, just say hello to Henry. Oh, uh, Colin, just say hello to Colin. Oh, Claire Emery. Hello, Claire, of course. There you go. Right, let's just get to the end of this. And, uh... Have I let... Yeah, I have said hello to Jeremy. Uh, Eric! Ah, hello, Eric. Uh, Eric has rather one of the... Uh, a big Suarez original. Great to see you here, uh, Eric. Is that right? Or is that... No, it's a different Eric I'm thinking of. My apologies, Eric. You're probably thinking, what's he talking about? Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, uh, right, uh, I think we've got to the bottom of, oh, Ruth Ann Ferguson, hello, 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 just trying to get through the myriad of uh, things down here, yes, I think we're at, are we, Artfish42, hello, yes, of course, we can't forget you, can we, moving along, Albert Tatlock is here, Jackie is here, uh, Jackie Natali, Jackie Bouvet, Cookie Monster, that's right, lots of you joining on now, thank you very much, lots of love coming through, which is really kind of you all, 
uh, have I got to the end? I still haven't got to the end. My goodness me. I think I've yeah, I said hello to Claire. I've said hello to Dan. Oh, Bernie Woodward. Hello, Bernie. Nice to see you. And uh, I think, have I got to the bottom? That's it. Oh, uh, Ankit Chadder, a little neon green. Well, hopefully we've got some green in there. And uh, Eleanor. Hello, Eleanor. Did I say hello? I said hello to Robert. I think that's it. Right, I'm going to just go, go to the end. Right, I think I've done it. Right, okay. Let's get some gloves on. If I if you didn't hear your name, I apologise, all right? Just give us another shout out and I'll get to it. Right, okay, let's get some gloves on. Are we, folks, ready to have a go at something I've never done before? We're gonna get some uh, we're gonna get some stuff out. Right, here we go. Here we go. Let's just get the let's get it over here and see what's gonna go on. Now I'm gonna reposition my time lapse. Uh, just so that I don't mess things up. Let's pull this to over here. Uh, we've just got to have a go, haven't we, folks? You know, I really, really don't know. If you've got any last words of advice, let me know. <laughs> oh, Maurice, La Fortune. Uh, fantastic. Good to see you here. And on we've got Dan Wood, the artist Dan Wood. Well, thank you very much. Has just donated nine ninety nine. Thank you, my friend. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> oh well, but Dan, that's extremely kind of you. Thank you so much. I, we really, really appreciate it. There were. No chance for cappuccinos, that'll go on materials, but we really, really appreciate it. So thank you. Dan Wood, everybody. Well, thank you. Um, uh, Clotilde Heath, Matilda Heath. The middle will give light on the edges, I hope so. Uh, right, here we go, here we go. Uh, oh, Geraldine's just got a chat working, right. I think, uh, which way am I gonna go with this? I'm gonna have to go this way and I and roll it. Right, you okay with the shot there, buddy? Okay. We were debating, should I do a half one or a full one? But I think I've, I've got to learn, haven't I? Oh, my word, this is precarious. Uh, right, can't move it now. Right, here goes, it goes, guys, here goes. Can you see that? This is very hard to actually do. I was pulling. It stuck to itself. Well, that wasn't supposed to happen. Oh, no, I see. Right, okay. Sorry, my apologies. Hang on a second. <clears throat> no, I know what it is. It's the flap. <clears throat> Hang on, just a second. <clears throat> okay, we got it, we got it. Okay, right. Cellophane is on. <laughs> right, okay. Ah, oh, okay. Let's see where we go from here then. Right, I don't know. What do I do? Oh, that's interesting. Oh, give them a splodge with your hand. <clears throat> uh, do I run the roller over it again though? That's the thing. To come the opposite way. Uh, you're probably all shouting at me now as to what to do. I tell you, yeah, I'm going to roll it. Do you know what? I'm going to roll it this way. Right. Okay. On where are we? On overhead. Okay. Let's let's see. I'm going to put some pressure on this now, folks, and see what happens. Right, okay, that's already come off because there's a load come out. <laughs> okay. That's interesting. <clears throat> uh, right. Yeah, no, I just don't want it to yank the cellophane off at all as it sticks to it. 
I wonder if a diagonal yeah will work. Oh what whatever, let's just, just try it. Oh I won't be able to see it, will I, through that? <laughs> oh this is getting fun. Right. See if I can get rid of that. Okay. We're going diagonal. <sighs> Shows me gloves. Uh, right, give us a second, folks. Let's get the mini roller out. Right, putting that over the top, now I can't see what I'm doing. So I want to have a look, see if I can do anything here. I'm pushing it. Right, that doesn't really want to go now. Oh, that does a little bit. Very bizarre. It's literally not doing anything. No. Oh, that is, right. I need to, I need to do this with hands, and I? All right, here we go then. Oh, don't you wish you were doing this now? I have got clean gloves. Yeah, Ed's just talking in my ears. I was just saying to Ed that uh, in doing that, you can imagine if that was just the paint, his hands would be absolutely covered by now. But as it stands, he's doing that, and his hands and his gloves are still clean. Ah, where's that come from? Why have I got gold on my hands now? Is it off that? Has it come through? No, I didn't. The roll is clear. I... No, it isn't. Uh, has that, that kind of come through? Right, sorry, folks. Just trying to figure things out. <sighs> yeah, it was gold that came up. Uh, what's it called?
Let's go down here and have a look. It's still got some gaps. I'm, I'm tempted just to pull it up and, you know, I don't know. Let's leave it for a bit though, eh? Right, okay. Right, and that's the cellophane. So, actually, the cellophane looks pretty good. <laughs> okay, let's pop that there, because what we are going to do now is have a look at number two. So I'm going to try a different technique this time. We've done blobs. That's what blobs look like. So rather than waste any more time on that one, I'm going to go straight in. And we're going to have a go with the other one. Right. Right then, folks. Are we ready? What do we think? Give it some special sauce. No, sorry, Jeremy, not this time. Our funny facts has to go. Uh, thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. Uh, okay, right. Uh, so let's just stop that and start it again. Right, okay. Are, are we ready, folks? Which one are we on, mate? Okay, so we're going to try, try it slightly differently here now. There's a nice colour. So we'll do some more around that. See what we can do. A little drop of that left as well. Let's get some of that in there. Right, we'll go in there with the magenta. Yeah, okay, buddy. Right, okay. Aegis is doing some battery swap outs while we stay on overhead. I'm going to get in there with the Suarez Blue. So we're going to get that on as well. I want to see what the technique does. You know, it just... This is all part of the learning process, isn't it? Uh, never used this kind of technique before. I guess like everything, you just, you've just got to start and see where it takes you. So that's what I'm trying to do. It's evident I'm going to need a lot of paint. Hopefully I'll be able to skadoosh this around a little bit. Right, okay, yes, let's draw, drop some cream in there. Hopefully these will start also interacting with each other. We shall see. We shall definitely see. Hopefully the second one will be a little bit better. Let's get some pistachio in there. And then I think we're going to get some Piaggio green in there as well. So, a little bit of improvising now. And that drop in there, looking good. And then we'll get uh, some of this over here. Right, okay. So that's that. Just give me a second, folks, figure out what I'm doing. Okay. Oh, bless you, Samantha. Set, me, uh, set her alarm for 5 a.m. <coughs> Excuse me, but I'm only just managing to tune in. Well, <coughs> that's a... <coughs> A big undertaking, isn't it, to, to get up in the early hours of the morning to watch. I know there's a lot of you that do that. I'm always extremely grateful uh, for you to get up and try and make it live. Uh, you know, this is why we do it. So huge 
thanks if you're making that kind of sacrifice when it's outside of your normal normal kind of daily routine you know we have this all the way around the globe and i'm always super super uh, amazed that you do this it's it's fantastic so thank you folks lady maya 333 what paint do i use great we've got that question um no this is enamel paint hence why i have to wear a breathing mask enamel paint's very very toxic and these ones produce some quite nasty hydrocarbons on contact with oxygen in the air so i have to protect my breathing and it's something i've had to do for quite a while they're a solvent based paint so they're mixed with solvent based thinners but uh, virtually everything else is is bespoke so the canvas has to be specially made etc 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 because they're uh, they're just pretty nasty and they'll obviously burn through a hole in anything so have to be super super careful what we're doing uh right okay how are we doing there folks i think we're doing all right quite an unusual one this one i think if it works it'll be quite quite an interesting painting i like that so far we're going to put a dash of gold in not copper this time because the copper's not doing anything i want the gold to actually work so we'll go with the royal gold and then we're going to see what what happens remember folks very shortly we'll be drawing the winner for the competition to win a painting it's not far away folks uh, very excited we're giving away painting number three are you going to be the lucky winner uh leah yeah i have actually stepped on a lot of them actually it doesn't really do very much <laughs> fallen into them and on a live stream we've had people stamp on them uh rip them all kinds of things you'd be surprised just how uh, uh pretty indestructible these are i know what you mean though when i'm painting it yes yes mm. I think there's quite a few out there with footprints actually right just giving it a little spray of thinners just to help it along okay kind of like that that's that's sort of shaping up quite nicely we're probably going to take this one off the floor and give it a little bit of a skadoosh i might do it around my head actually i haven't done one of those for a while right then folks oh here we go here we go let's see shall we let's see what happens let me get myself some new gloves oh hard work this don't ever think <laughs> this is easy i promise you it isn't right okay now just a reminder if you're watching this on catch up please leave a comment on this video can't do that until the video is ended if you're watching live leaving a comment means you are in the draw for next week we'd love for you to be the winner okay right folks are we ready to have a go with painting number two i mean i love that as it is already but uh I promised it to you. I'm thinking, actually, because I got a line last time, I'm going to use a single sheet. I'm going to abandon that. Hi, guys. Adrian here. So, uh, as Ed was saying, what you'll need to do, if you are in the chat right now, well, it doesn't count because YouTube just dis discards every chat that comes on here on the live. So it has to be in the comments so what you'd have to do is if you're watching it live and i know obviously a lot of you guys are is once this is finished going live it's just pop into the comments and just put a comment saying aid is awesome or love the painting or aid is awesome whichever doesn't matter aid is awesome or love the painting whichever one uh, but just pop a comment in there of something um, and you'll be in then for the draw of painting number four perfect okay right are we ready to blot for the second time then folks okay we're going to try a single sheet this time folks no idea what's going to happen but we're going to go uh well um, whatever whatever happens happens now doesn't it Right, first one on. There we go. This time I'm going to grab my roller and we're going to see what happens. Okay, the learning. That's what it's all about. I'm not afraid to learn. I'm not afraid to do things for the first time. I'm not afraid to fail. Uh, that's better. That's better, guys. Look, 
We're actually manoeuvring it. I think so anyway. Yeah, of course we can see it, can't we, forming. And if I go quiet, it's because I'm concentrating. I've not done this before. Probably overdone it on the paint, but then I wanted to make sure that we've got plenty of it. There wasn't quite enough on the first one. So let's see if I can make enough on the second one. <laughs> okay. Uh, right, just, yeah, trying to decipher what Rob D has said. Uh, you're saying drag it, Rob. I like drag the cling film. Mm, that's interesting. I could do, couldn't I? What do we all think to that? Mm. No, no, Paul, there won't be a comment section until the video's finished. And then uh, you'll be able to leave a comment. Okay, so you have to wait for the live to finish uh, before you can leave a comment. Okay, that's clear. Right, okay. Do you know what? I'm tempted to to do Rob's suggestion. What do you think, guys? Should I should I pull it? Should we should we What do you think? Just let me know in the chat now. Should I pull the the cling films towards me now? What do you think? Yeah, so Floy, hello Floy. Thanks for the insight, Rob. Uh with a great spreader tear the sheet. Mm. Yeah, it wouldn't, no, but I'm I'm reluctant because it might actually push the paint too far out. That's the tricky bit here. Swipers are gonna drag it, maybe a little bit. Nope, it says FLD, yes, pull it. Uh, frottage style, don't understand what that is. Uh, pull it and then monoprint it. You pull it, drag it, could be messy, <laughs> drag it. Uh, Denise Weeks, clarify, if we only commented in the live chat and not the comments, we're not in the drawing. Yes, live chat doesn't count, Denise. So when the video's over, you've got seven days, leave a comment in this video when we finish broadcasting. Simple as that. Right, everyone's saying pull, so we've got to go for it, mate, haven't we? Uh, who, who was that who just said that? Uh, Denise, I think. Denise, um, hopefully you've put a comment in last week's video. Mm, if you haven't, pop over there now and just put it in there because up until the point when we decide that we're going to do the draw, you are still eligible if you put a comment in last week's and then come back here okay so i hope that uh, that clarifies it for everybody uh pull one corner yeah pull one corner it's then i'm gonna lose the hmm, this is tricky i'm gonna have to pull both towards me i think Right, uh, AD just on the line, yes. Uh, okay, I'll do that. Where's my stuff? I'm going to cut a small piece and drag that and then just pull the other bit off so I kind of get two techniques in the same painting. Let's see what that looks like. Why can't I see the roll anywhere? Well, we'll just... Ah, there it is. Okay, let's just grab this, folks. All right, we're doing the draw very, very shortly. Um, the countdown is on. Right, okay. I am gonna... Right, let's put it there. Give it a pat. Nice. <laughs> Gonna have to move the uh, time lapse over here. Okay, right. I'm gonna drag it now, folks. Here we go. Three. Two, one. <laughs> OK, 
Okay. So that doesn't work. <laughs> oh dear. <clears throat> nope. Cellophane. Yeah, the cellophane's great. Anyone want to buy some cellophane? Well, I'm going to rip this off now. <clears throat> oh, that's nice. I like the drips. Let's see if we can resurrect this. There we go. How about that, eh? That's right. Okay, well, every, every cloud. Right, okay. I'm quickly going to lay this on here. I'll show you on Rome Cam in just a second, folks. Let me just get the time lapse out of the way. Interesting what we've got going on tonight. Definitely, uh, <laughs> definitely very interesting. Okay, let's, before we go any further, let's give you a Rome Cam shot. Hopefully, we've still got a Rome Cam. Right, okay. So, this is what we've just done. This is very interesting. Lots, of, I don't really know what to say, except that. Yeah, we'll see how that develops. Let me actually go around the other side. There's a giant bit of cellophane left on there. Yep. Yeah. No, can we get off my glove? Thank you. There's some very, very curious things happening. I'm sure there'll be some even more curious things happening as it starts to sort itself out. It's the great thing about experimenting. You never quite know what you're going to get. You can't fly to the moon without starting somewhere. You know, this is my equivalent. Yeah, and the other one, look, actually starting to develop into something quite interesting. I might do a little bit of fiddling around with that when we're off air, but things are happening. Right, I'm going to look. There we go. Let's give it a stamp. This is really just the, well, who cares? Can you see that? There we go. Where else can you see this? Dude standing on his own painting. Right, that's the first bit. Let's tear that off. You watch, this is probably going to be the one that turns out to be the epic one, isn't it? Right, that's one bit we've got done. Let's pop that over there. I think that's pretty much dealt with now. Uh, we've got another bit over here. We're smart. Are we still on our own cam, mate? Yeah, whatever. Let's uh, let's pop that down there. This is all getting very, very messy, but that's okay. Oh, blotting! Yeah, look at that. Nice. We did think the cellophane would start to basically disintegrate, which I think it's possibly it's starting to do because yeah. Ed's gloves disintegrate. You know. Um, the bottles that we use for the sprays, they disintegrate. I think that's probably what's happening. Yes. Uh, fall yeah. apart. Yeah. Like you said, these, these are, they, they, the, the paints are great when they're dry, but they're an absolute swine when they're uh, liquid. Right, have we got our own cam shot on there, mate? Right, okay. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do, yeah. Right, okay. Let's grab this one and stick it on the other side then. Uh, so what do I want to do? Do I want which side's got the most paint on it? Probably the, that one. No, this one. Uh, so I don't know how quite I'm going to do this. This is going to go absolutely everywhere. No, I need to do it the other way around, don't I? Hang on. Oh, it's all getting sticky. No.
<laughs> I was going to say to think I'll get paid for this, but I don't. So. <laughs> Hi Deanders, good to see you here. You can always watch this on catch up. We're about to do <coughs> the draw for the next painting winner. Well, there you go. It's not quite a disaster, is it? So if painting number one and painting number two had a baby, it would be painting number three. Is that right, buddy? <laughs> Spot on. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Perfect. Right, well, change gloves. Everything is disintegrating around me. <clears throat> Let us... Oh. Oh, well, we dragged it. Sticky business. Good title, Henry. <laughs> Robert, that needs a bit of sauce. I know, I know. But it is going to get a little drop of thinners. Because <clears throat> I need it just to stay liquid for a little bit. Because there's a little bit of mileage to be had out of that. Okay, that's going to get a little bit as well. Not a lot. That one's already got loads on. Right, okay. Well. That was an interesting experiment, wasn't it, folks? <clears throat> First and last time I use uh, acetate sheet. <laughs> Let's give you a roam cam look, and then we're going to go and draw a winner for painting number three. Oh, yeah, here we go. Yeah, interesting. Very interesting stuff going on. Let's go on the other side and have a look. And we're back to painting two. Some interesting things starting to happen. And then check that out. So there is legs in it, which means, you know, it's got a little bit of some substance. Needs a bit of tidying up. Uh, number one, actually. You know, not a disaster. Starting to see some interesting patterns coming out now. It's going to need a little bit of attention. Uh, but, you know, it's not, it's not dead yet. There we go. How about that? <laughs> That's what we've done. Oh, my goodness me. Right, we'll stay on Rome Cam. What do you think, actually, folks? Look, we are experimenting. We're pushing back the frontiers. We're not afraid to do it in front of you uh let's give us some hearts and some thumbs up uh if you agree uh with that oh elaine likes number two thank you elaine uh <clears throat> much more vibrant close up from fld absolutely uh right so shall i give you a reminder as to how to give us a thumbs up and a like check this out now if you're enjoying this video then don't forget to give us a nice big thumbs up And remember to hit that subscribe button and click on your bell icon so you never miss any of our upcoming videos. It's all gone, it's all gone dark and shall we put some light on? Boom, there we go. Right, we are out. We're out of the paint room. Let's get some lights on. Folks, it is that time. I'm not kidding you. Look. It's that time. We are now, we've got five canvases on you. that table. Uh, one of you lucky so-and-sos is going to win one in a very short space of time, in a matter of minutes. So here we go. So I want you to shout out on the chat. <laughs> right, we've got number one. We've got two. With all the foresty green lovers, that's got a little bit of the Christmas tree in it. Nice, quite apt considering it looks like a bit like an abstract Christmas tree. Uh, we've got purple and red, number three. Purple, red, and look at the gold. Mmm, nice. Then we've got four. Blue, silver, cosmic. All these lovely blues coming in. 
to the metallics all about the metallics that one you know that shines in the light beautiful and then we've got a nice warm tropical breeze with the orange and the burgundy coming in as number five so there we are folks which one takes your fancy one two three four or five i hope you're making a mental note because we are about to draw a winner would you like to see who is about to win another suarez original of course you would let's get back in the pod shall we and <clears throat> or shall we draw it with ad in there no we'll go back in there right cue up the screen then buddy yeah i'm here so anybody who put a comment on last week's video uh i'm gonna have a look now and see where we're at so how many comments have we got i'm gonna do a quick refresh we have 139 comments which means that an extra 19 people went and commented on that tonight alone so there's a one in 139 chance of winning okay let's get this up on the screen for you guys there it is okay so as last week we've done it so that it's unique so you only get one chance if you put several comments it, it, it will only take one of your comments um and one winner for today unless i click that up <laughs> no i won't i'll keep that at one winner so whenever you're ready maestro you tell me you give me the right. countdown uh okay just getting my screen ready That's i'll it. i'll listen to you because i'm going to be 20 seconds behind on my yes, on my television aren't i okay so i'm listening to ad in my ear because as he draws it it will be uh live in my ear so i've yeah we've got full comms good luck everybody here we go for painting number three we are about to pick a winner roll it okay if you're ready in five four three two one loading the comments still loading Still loading. Still loading. Oh, this is suspenseful. Oh, that shark's running around. I'm still running around. Oh, there we go. So, Johnson Baby, four three five five. Johnson Baby, four yep. four four, four, three, four, three, four five five five. Four three five five. Amazing work. Love your wow. paintings and your videos. We have a winner. So let's just see that comment on the screen. There we go. Johnson Baby 4355. Amazing work. Love your paintings and videos. Always teaches me something new every time. Congratulations. Is that one of you on the chat? I don't know. Uh, I hope it is. Make yourself known uh, if it is. So far, we've been uh, very, very lucky and we've had, uh, we've had the winner on chat and they've been able to pick which one they want live on air. Are we going to get that tonight? Johnson Baby 4355. I don't know. If that's you, don't worry if you haven't won because you'll get another opportunity or well, three more opportunities. All you have to do is to leave a comment on this video when we finish broadcasting and you're back in the draw next week to win another painting. But that is whoever Johnson Baby 4355 is. That's fantastic. So if that's you, send me an email info at.
and a good evening to you all.